Instead of buying fancy cloth napkins, try making your own. They're one of the easiest sewing projects for beginners. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jen. I upload weekly videos about sewing crafts and DIY projects. And as part of the Learn to Sew series here, we are doing yet another beginner-friendly sewing project. So if you are new, this is perfect for you because we're going to do some cloth napkins. These are great for beginners because it's literally just one piece of square fabric. And we're going to be tackling mitered corners. Start off with a pre-washed fabric square. This one is 21 and a half inches, which equates to an 18 and a half inch finished napkin. You can make them in any size, but just remember to add three inches to the cut square to account for the finished edges. On the right side of the fabric, mark out lines, add a half inch and one and a half inches with a disappearing ink pen. Do this on all four sides. Flip it over so the wrong side is facing up. Begin to fold and press the edges in at the half inch mark. You can glue baste the raw edges to keep them in place. Start with two opposite sides, then do the other two sides. Then fold and press the edges in at the one and a half inch mark. Don't glue baste at this point because you'll need to unfold them pretty soon, as in right now. Using a roller mark two inches out from each corner. Connect those dots by drawing a diagonal line. Fold the corner right sides together and you'll need to sew that line. Here are my sewing machine settings. Stitch length 2.5, needle position 3.5. I like to start on the inner side so thread ends aren't visible on the finished project. Right before you reach the edge, stop with the needle down. Lift the presser foot and turn the corner all the way around. At this point, I like to tie a knot with the loose threads. Lower the presser foot and stitch back over the line again. This will help reinforce the seam. Remove from the sewing machine. Clip the excess fabric at the corners, leaving just over a quarter inch seam allowance. You can also snip off a bit of the inner corner to further eliminate bulk. Turn right side out and use a chopstick or point turner to gently push out the corners. Lay out the napkin wrong side up and glue baste the edges. What this does is prevents the fabric from shifting around while you're sewing it. Time to edge stitch back at the sewing machine. Here are my settings. You may have noticed I used a walking foot and here I'm lining up the edge with the inner edge on the metal foot. Because the needle position has been moved to 0.0, it's closer to the left-hand side. Carefully edge stitch all the way around each napkin side. When you get to the corner, stop sewing with the needle in the down position. Lift the presser foot and pivot 90 degrees. Lower the presser foot and continue sewing the next side. Overlap the stitches at the beginning and end by a few inches to lock them in place. Here's what the finished napkins look like. Check out that perfect mitered corner and snazzy top stitching. Now we're gonna try a little napkin folding. You can liven up your next family dinner with cloth napkins or they'd make great holiday or housewarming gifts. From start to finish, you could probably make a set of four cloth napkins in a couple of hours, so it's a pretty quick sew. And if you make them the same size I did, which is 18 and a half inches square finished, you will need about a yard and a half to make four of them because you can basically get like four quadrants out of that yard and a half of fabric. If you want napkins any bigger than that, you're going to need substantially more yardage just because you won't be able to fit two napkins across the width of the fabric. So just, just know that going in. And as always, if you are making something that's going to be laundered, pillowcases, these napkins, anything like that, Pre-wash the fabric if it's like cotton, linen, anything that's a natural fiber. I even pre-wash my polyester fabrics even though you technically don't have to. And of course, I would recommend just using cotton or a natural fiber. I don't think something like polyester would work very well for cloth napkins, but hey, you do you. Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. If you want to see more beginner sewing videos, I have plenty of them here, along with a whole video just on using a basic sewing machine. I'm using the Brother CS7000i, and we are doing a Learn to Sew series here in 2020. So come join me, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and let me know what you think of this video. Did it help you? 
hit the like button and leave me a comment below letting me know what other types of beginner sewing projects you'd like to see here. See you guys again in the next video.